Well, this morning marks one year since one of Baltimore's darkest days. Three city firefighters were killed in the line of duty battling a vacant row home fire off of South Stricker Street. And that's where Amy Kawada joins us live this morning where this all unfolded. Good morning, Amy. Yeah, good morning, Cena. Well, the space behind me where the three vacant row homes once stood serves as a painful reminder of that tragic day one year ago, but it also has become a beacon of light as a community garden now stands in its place. And this morning, family members are here to gather and pay their respects to the fallen firefighters. We've also seen a few firefighters show up early this morning to observe this space and honor the firefighters. But you may remember we were here on South Stricker Street this time last year when crews spent hours in the early morning battling a vacant row home fire that partially collapsed, claiming the lives of Lieutenants Paul Buttram, Kelsey Sadler, and firefighter Penn paramedic Kenny Lacayo. A fourth firefighter, John McMaster, was also seriously injured in what was considered one of the deadliest fires for first responders in Baltimore's history. It's a tragedy that gripped the entire state and led the city to launch a program to mark unsafe vacant buildings. As the community continues to heal, this memorial garden where the fallen firefighters last stood has evolved into a space filled with symbols of remembrance like American flags, crosses, and emblems. And later this morning at 11, the city will be observing a moment of silence where an all-channel call will be announced and Baltimore fire stations will be flying their flags at half-staff from sunrise to sunset. For now, reporting live, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.